Hi everyone. All right. So I'm really excited. I just finished this piece. It's literally like probably still not even dry. And I just, I was so excited about it. And I know that I'm uh, not alone in being really excited about artwork, especially if it expresses something. And I just spent an entire week with the most amazing student artists who were really uh, kind of turning a corner on putting themselves in their work and leaving that bit on there. And uh, so I just want to tell you a little bit behind this work that makes it so powerful for me, even um, emotional in a lot of ways. So I, I always say I'm not into music, but I am into certain music, I guess. And uh, Coldplay is one of those uh, bands that I just love. He's also my freebie. So if he knocks on my door, uh, no matter who I'm dating, no matter what it is, uh, he's my freebie, just so you know. So Chris Martin, if you're listening to this, please come on over. Anyway, um, well, a new song released and um, it's called Let Somebody Go, which is the title of this piece. And when I heard the song, because I love a good lyric, when I heard the song, it kind of brought up all these emotions. It brought up divorce, it brought up uh, family that I've lost, and it brought up my beautiful friend who passed five years ago, Debbie Mack. And um, I know this is weird, so stay with me. That's why it's so powerful. So when my friend Debbie Mack passed, uh, her daughter showed up at my door with like, my mom told me I'm supposed to bring you a dime bag of her ashes because I did. I had talked to Debbie and I just said, I'd love, I want it. You loved art and you love taking classes and you love that process. And she always was such a supporter of mine that I told her that I would paint her into random paintings that felt powerful. Um, I've painted a painting for her family. It's not of her. She's just in the paint. But she told me that I was only allowed to dip her into quinacridone nickel azo gold. And so I've only painted uh, three paintings that I've dipped my brush into Debbie, but Debbie is in this one, in the quinacridone nickel azo gold, in little bits in there, because I know that if I was channeling her, she was with me, and the song just made a powerful reference to love and support. I don't know. Anyway, I'm now babbling, but I just wanted to share that, and I know that some of you might have pets, or you might have family or something, that they're important, uh, enough to paint into your artwork. Uh, take a brush, put them in there. Uh, make them a part of the next person's story, next person's journey. And I know, you know, whoever gets this piece, whoever the person is that this piece was destined for, Debbie Mack was also destined for you. And you and her will be a part of a different journey. And me, and all tied up together. So I just wanted to share that. I'm going to post in here um, the video and the photo of, you know, the finished piece. But I wanted you to kind of get an idea of the size of it because I think it's more impactful to at that point. And um, I just love this community and met so many of you this past week in person. Thank God for the first time. Um, and uh it just, I walked away feeling invigorated and yes, jet lagged, but the fact that I came back and felt the need to paint really is a statement more on the students than it is on anything else. And I want to thank you for that. And I want to thank this community for uh, allowing me to share and allowing our conversation to continue. So um, thank you for being here. And uh, I hope you enjoy the music video because he's my freebie. Bye guys. <laughs>